I Bhuvan Dwe Puti. We are in Grade Six General Science, Chapter Number Four, Energy in Day-to-Day -day Life, as per the Sri Lankan Government School Syllabus. In these lessons, we are going to talk about sea wave and tidal wave energy, and how it is being created, and whether it is useful or it isn't harmful. So let's get into the subject and see how that works. This will be a very valuable source of energy in the near future, the sea wave. This energy can be converted into electrical energy by building floating power plants in the sea. Now, if you look very closely, you can see where the electricity or the energy is getting generated. To a country like ours, Sri Lanka, there are so much of sea space. We can have lots and lots of energy plant. But when an occurrence happens like this, tsunami, it is very, very destructive and it is very, very harmful to have such a big plant and lose it at once. One good example is the occurrence of the tsunami in 2004 that happened in Sri Lanka. Due to this situation, we lost millions worth properties and invaluable lives of humans. It also caused great harms to nature as well. Next is about tidal waves. The water level of the sea changes due to the effects of the sun and the moon. It's called as the occurrence of the high tides and the low tides. The rise of the sea water level is named as the high tide and the fall of the sea water level is named as low tide. High tide and the low tide has a clear difference as you are looking at in this picture and also in this picture. Using the low tide and the high tide variances at least around about 5 meters you need. When you have that one, you can use this tidal technologies to create electricity under three different ways tidal barrages, tidal fences and tidal turbines. When you are talking about tidal barrages, they will use a dam over there to make the turbine rotate and generate the electricity as usual. And in the, in the tidal fences also, they will use a fence that rotates and then after that tidal turbines also, they will use a turbine. Inside the turbine, when the turbine is rotating, the turbine rotates and the generator will generate electricity and gives us the electricity to the houses. The good thing about tidal wave is ocean water is 832 times more dense than the air what you are looking at in the picture. Therefore, it is a vital one to have the tidal wave power. If you can have one in a country like ours, it is much better. So we came to know about the sea wave and tidal wave energy. In our next session, we are going to talk about a geothermal energy. Until then, good luck and learn well. Bye-bye and take care of yourself.